from the six. Look at what we did. Yeah, be quiet, I'm doing a toast. For niggas that don't really do shit, I swear y'all be doing the most. Stop worrying about whoever's next. I am just worried about my mama worrying less. I think I'm famous enough. I don't need any more press. I am convinced I'm the only one left that's still doing this shit. Yes, man. sir. It's your boy Famous Enough, and I am the voice of the Pro Am. Now, if y'all can hear it in my voice, I'm sick. I'm clearly sick. Um, I can't really do much. But I wanted to get a video out because there's been a lot going on. So I decided to take a little bit of time, take a lot of medicine, and try to get it out. But like, I'm still sick. I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video, but I'm gonna try to get through it. The first thing I wanna talk about is that you guys need to watch your language. Like, that's a big part of esports is interacting with fans and being able to talk regularly and be able to have all kinds of ages, races, ethnicities inside your stream to watch you. But some of y'all are not ready for that just by the way y'all talk. Recently, we had a, a guy that just went out on a limb with a whole bunch of racist comments on stream. Like, he went, he was on stream with a bunch of racist comments and it was not cool and like I, I asked for somebody to clip it so I could take a look at it and it was disturbing to hear it because this guy constantly asks us for new teammates or get on a new team yada yada third every other day I was getting free agent requests from this guy and all of a sudden this comes out y'all gotta remember that once something's online it's there forever so if you got drafted and that came out it's a PR disaster Everybody went on a blocking spree, man, and it, it got real bad. It even reached, started reaching teams, and they saw it. And it's it's not a good look because, like I said, once it's online, it's there forever. It's no, it's gonna always come back, no matter what. That clip will always come back. So you can't say that type of stuff. You can't. Now let's get right into some gameplay. We got Showtime Blue Demons taking on Safer the Rock. I've been wanting to watch B Ohio all this year. I just haven't had the chance. Now, some people might not like the way that Showtime BD play because they are a five out team, but inside their five out, they have movement, they have wraps, they have pin downs, they have a lot of movement in there in their five out. They're gonna go as far as B Ohio will take them. And watch the screen right here. Two people gonna close out on B Ohio. Pass to Smooth Boy. Smooth Boy 7-3. What happens when a 7-3 shoots over little guys? That's cash money. Cash money. Now Remix had to figure out that he had to attack B Ohio because he was being left on the island. So he had to attack and oh my god, what a dunk by Kid right there. Don't get me wrong. Kid played great defense on B Ohio, but B Ohio was in attack mode. And he just walked into the lane right there. There was no rotation on the five out. There was no help, no def that was nothing. Kid was by himself and they let him just B Ohio walk in. Now remix chance. Into the paint, Trevor's gonna pass back out. Day Day has the ball, drives. And the body, nope, he misses the body going the other way. T2 Trent on his head, boy. Remix. Remix is gonna go into dribble guy mode right here. He, he has the lane a few times, but he's gonna pull back every time. He, he has it, he pulls back, snatch back, free throw line jumper, green bean, eat your veggies. Now we're going the other way. I don't, I don't know if B. Ohio felt that because B. Ohio guards ball. So I don't know if B. Ohio was, was really messing with that right there. He got remix on him. Oh, floor slipper. You know the court gets slippery sometimes and they forget to wipe up the sweat off the floor. And that's what happened right there. In the end, it was just too much B. Ohio. He had 39 points, 12 assists, and a steal. Remix had 31 and 8. It was a close game to uh, close out the series, but Showtime wins. Next up. We got HG taking on Miamiville. Now, this is one of those games where I wanted to really watch it. And I wanted to watch Colt. I wanted to pay attention to a lot of stuff that Colt do. Because a lot of the stuff that Colt do, it doesn't show up in a box score. It's got to be one of those things where you got to watch the game to actually see its impact. And that's what I wanted to pay attention to while I'm watching Colt play. Now, the score, is right before, right after tip off, now watch Colt movement right here without the ball. He has a, he's under the rim right now. He has great position, easy pump fake, and a dunk right there. That's what Colt do. Score is 11-8 now. We got my boy Hawk taking the ball out. D-Hawk got the ball now. 
dribble drive, nope, snatch back, pull back. Wait, watch the backdoor cut. Why, look at the backdoor cut by Junebug. Great timing on the backdoor cut. Now, one thing that I noticed about Coach, he kind of gives away the play right here. Now, I know this was, I know this is supposed to be a wrap. I know this is supposed to be a wrap because Coach is not setting the ball, uh, screen on the ball. So, but we got a green bean right there from my boy BP. I think if Coach would have came down and would have not automatically started trying to set a pick, that I wouldn't have known what the play was. But since he came down and set a pick automatically on nobody, I knew what the play was. Sloppy offense right there by Miamiville. They have nothing. And they really have nothing that's had to force a shot up. Great defense. Now watch us go back the other way. Ball up to BP. Look at Code again. He has he has the position it once again. And easy two. Now watch watch Code right here on the roll. So he's gonna come up, set the pick. Here comes the roll. He had the ball. That was the that was the pass. But he's under the board for the free board. Over to the corner, underrated goat, green bean, eat your veggies. This play right here is going to show Colt's versatility. Now, watch watch the play as it evolves. Colt is going to keep showing on the pick. He's going to keep showing over the pick. He's hedging, he's hedging hard, but he's going to keep showing. He's going to keep showing. He showed all the way there, stopped the ball. The offense is dead in the water now. Turnover. Great defense right there by HG. This is another great defensive play that I like from HG. They're showing hard on the press up the court. And this right here is going to force them to come up. Watch how he comes up. Goes back to the corner to contest. Nothing there. We're going the other way. Coat with the board. BP dribbles the ball up the court. Now, one thing that HG relies on is a lot of defensive stops. And they get them. They get them. The ball is going to go over to about the game in the corner. Drive. Corner to Coat. I don't think this was green, but y'all know my saying. It's green if it goes in, so it's good. It's all good. Now, this this right here is the Nelson Coffin right here. BP, you know, BP can dribble with the best of them. Like, look at the positioning by Dre about the game. Too easy, two points, ball game. And the last game that we have is one way taking on good life. Um, this game right here, everybody wanted to see. It was one of those games that it was packed with viewers. Um, everybody wanted to see it. I would have watched. One way stream if all of them have their voice included, but they didn't. So I watched Good Life stream where every single voice was included. Um, this was Young Iverson versus Hood, and it was a show. They did not disappoint through the series. It, it did go three games. This is the third game of the series. Now watch the inbound of Goofy. Watch how patient Goofy is to let the defense show him what they're going to do. They leave him. That's green all day long. That's green from Goofy. And to not be outdone, the very next play. The ball is going to find its way into the corner to my boy Cardi G's. Too much space, green bean. Eat your veggies. Now this right here is one of those possessions that that I'm sure one way wish they could have back. We got East dribbling the ball up the court. Over to Cardi G's, he's going to go back up top to East and East is going to drive. But at the same time, Iverson was driving us cutting to the basket as well. And this right here is going to be a three from Hood. Great decision right there to slow down and take the shot from Hood. Watch the defense from Ed cashing out. Ed cashing out is such a slept on player. A lot of people don't know about him. He don't talk much. And he just does his thing. Back out to Ed. That's too much space for him. He's one of the D deadliest shooters on this game. A lot of people will learn about him because they're going to figure it out that this boy can shoot. Now we got Hood versus Iverson. One on one, top of the key. This is what we paid our money for right here. This is what we paid out Hood. All the way to the cup. Easy too. I like it. So we saw how Hood closed the quarter out. And I, Iverson saw it as well. Look at the defense by Iverson right here. We're going the other way. Iverson's going to wait for it. Let, let everybody get down court. Over to the corner. Z. Cardi's on the goal for the board. Back outside. Now Iverson wants the ball. Young Iverson wants the ball. Here it goes. Iverson versus Hood. A bunch of jab steps. They go to spin. Step back. And now we go, now we finna go to, we got him dancing now. Now we're going, spin layup, easy money. I love it. This is the unique thing about one way. They can go five out and perform from the corners. A bunch of jab sticks, step back, three ball, count it. I love it. That's one thing I like about one way. They can do it from multiple positions, from different areas. It's just great basketball. At the end of the day, it was just too much one way, not enough good life. 
Final score 79 to 67, one way. Young Iverson with 30 points, five assists, and three steals. Now, that's all I got for y'all. If you're feeling the content, like, comment, subscribe, and you already know the slogan. If you know me, but I don't know you, then I guess I'm famous enough.